Hello, civil engineers. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture onwards, we'll try to see what is CPM, that is critical path method, and how do we solve an example, something like this. And then once we will do this manually, then with the help of a software, we'll try to validate our answer. Okay. So these are the things that we are going to see. So first coming to CPM. So CPM stands for critical path method. Okay. So what exactly is critical path method? The path which has the longest duration is called as a critical path method. That means you have many activities. That is, you did excavation, PCC, and all those things. From the start of the project to, till the entire completion of the project, which activity has the longest duration? So that is called as a critical path. That is called as a critical uh, activity. And the path which is going to follow, that is called as critical path. And that particular method is called as critical path method. Simple. Okay. Now we'll try to understand this through an example. So let us say I have different, uh, you know, activities like activity A, activity B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. These are the different activities. So if you ask me, so practically what are these? So practically this can be, let us say, this can be PCC. Wait. Practically these things can be, you know, okay. Anyhow, let me take it out. Yeah. Practically these things can be, let us say this is earthwork activity. This will be your, uh, you know. PCC activity, then uh, uh, this will be your uh, shuttering activity. You're getting my point? All these are different activities that you have. So practically these are the things, how it is. But right now for understanding, I'm using the letter A, B, C, D. So practically this can be earthwork, it can be PCC, it can be shuttering, it can be brickwork, it can be reinforcement, it can be starter concrete, uh, it can be plain beam concreting, it can be curing, it can be you know de-shuttering activity, it can be slab casting, anything. Got it? But for time being, we'll not, you know, uh, get into that. Simple. Understood the concept. Now, uh, what I'll do is, uh, you know, let me hide all those things or let me delete them. No, let me hide all those things. I think I should hide them. Yeah, fine. Good. Now, what we are supposed to find right from A is a starting point. M is your end point. So what are the different ways that you can reach from A to M? So that is what we are supposed to find. Okay. So we'll start like this. So first I'll start from A. Let me start from A. From A, I can go to B and from there I can come and meet M. Or even from A, I can go to C and from C I can connect. So you need to follow one method. We'll start from left to right and we'll try to cover the top portions. For example, A, so the top is B, you know, C is below that. First we'll finish all the top portions, then we'll come below. Now you feel like, no, sir, I want to go from the bottom. You can go that. You can you can go. A, C, you can count. It's up to you because you are going to do the activity. You are going to calculate it. So you are free to do anything. But we'll follow a certain method. Huh? So again, it's not a hard and a fast rule that you have to follow that. It's up to you. So A, I'll go to B now. From B, I'll be connecting to C, D. From D, I'll be connecting to H. And from the H, I'll be connecting to, to K. And from K, I'll reach to M. Finish. This is one path which I can follow to reach from A to M. Now what you can do, take a rough note or if you have an Excel, it's well and good, but I would suggest you to take a pen and a paper and write it. Okay. I have already written it. Let me show you only those part. I've already written it. Okay. So what I've done is, uh, yeah, I've written this activity one, A, then we have B, then we have D, then we have H, then we have K, then we have M. Simple. Now. This eight, six, three, three, all these are duration. That is A activity will take eight days. B activity will take six days. C activity will take seven days. G activity will take seven days. And G activity will take two days. M activity will take three days. So these are the different activities. Different, these are different days or the duration. That is a duration that the activities are going to take. So I've written A here, right? How many days A, A is going to take? Eight days. So what I'll do, I'll mention eight here. You can see I've mentioned eight here. Okay, eight. B, B, how many days it's going to take? Six, I've written six here. D, how much days it will take? How many, what is the duration? Three days, so I've written three here. H, how much it's going to take? Eight, so I've written eight here. K, two days, so two, I've written it here. M is going to take three days, I've written three days. You have to write it in a paper or you can write it in a book. If you have Excel sheet, you can make use of Excel sheet. Good. Now what you're supposed to do, you need to add all the days, I mean all the duration. Okay, so what I've done, eight plus six is eight plus six is 14. 14 plus three is 17. 
17 plus uh, 8 is how much? 25. Isn't it? Yeah, 25. And 25 plus 2 is uh, 27. 27 plus 3 is 30. So, our duration is 30 days. Okay. That means if I want to follow this particular path from A to M, it will take 30 days for me to complete. Or this is a duration that I require if I start my path from A, B, D, H, K, M. So, practically, it can be, let us say, this is earthwork, this is PCC, this is reinforcement, uh, this is... Uh, shuttering this is concreting and this is deshuttering right so it's something like that so in this way if i follow if you want let me write that i'll write here so this may be your earthwork okay earthwork this can be your let us say pcc this can be your shuttering work sorry yeah this can be your uh, reinforcement This can be your shuttering work. This can be your concreting work, putting concreting. And this last one, this is your deshuttering. Okay, good. Now, if you want to start your earthwork and if you want to reach up to the deshuttering level, how many days it is required? It requires 30 days to finish these activities. You're getting my point? Good. Now I'll delete everything. Not required. You understood the concept. Now tell me what are the other ways that you have? So another way what I can have is I'll start from A, I'll go to B. Now, anyhow, from B to D, I've done a connection. It's not required. Now, from B, I can come to E, no? Good. Now, again, from E, I have two paths. Either I can take E, H, K, M, or I can take E, I, L, M, I can take. So what shall I do? Again, I told left to right, anyhow, we are going. Whichever is at the top, we'll consider that. Now, for E, H and I, two links are given, which is at the top, H, no? I'll take H now. I'll connect H, I'll connect K, and then I'll connect to M. Finish. Got it, no? Now write down the same thing. I've written already. So what you're supposed to do, you people are supposed to write it. Okay. So what is that? A I've written, B I've written, then E is what I've written. This is E activity. Then H is what I've written. Then K is what I've written. M is what I've written. You are supposed to write the same thing. Now after that, you need to mention the duration also. Now mention the duration. This should be dark, no? I'll make it dark. Hmm. Now mention the duration. A, anyhow, you know from here, you can take the same value. A is 8, here also it will be 8. B is 6, you can take 6. D is given, E is no, here we are V. So come to E. E is how many days? 3 days. Take 3 days. H is how many days? So after E, what I have written? Okay. After E, H I have written. No, yeah. A, H is 8. So I've written 8 here. How much is K? K is 2 days. What is M? M is 3 days. Now add everything. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. 17 plus 8 is 25. 25 plus 2 is 27. And 27 plus 3 is 30. So again, duration is 30 days. Two activities, two paths we have discovered. Now, is there any other path? Exactly, we have many other paths. Again, we'll start from A. Okay. We'll go to B. From B, I came to E. E, H is done. From E, I can go to I also, no? I also, I can go. Now, again, from I, I have two ways. Either you can take L and M, or what you can do? You can take K and M. So, which one we are supposed to take? You can take any one, but we'll follow the topper one. So, for I, K is at a higher level. So, I'll go to the K, and from K, I'll come to the M. Simple. Another path we have found. So, again, I've written the same thing. You're supposed to write it. I've done it already. So, again, A activity. Then we have B activity, we have E activity, we have I activity here, we have K here, and we have M here. Done. Now again, duration, you know, A is anyhow. By default, it is eight days. Six B anyhow, it is six days. E anyhow, it is three. Then I, how many how many days? It will take seven days. I've written seven here. Then K, it will take uh, two days. I've written two here. M, it will take three. Add everything. Eight plus six is 14. 14 plus three is 17. 17 plus... Uh, 7 is how much? 24. Let me add 14, 17, 17. Yeah, 17. I'll take this one. 17 plus uh, 3 is 20. 20 plus 7 is 27. 27 plus 2 is 29. Yeah, 29 is the right answer. Finish. Now, again, tell me what are the different, uh, you know, uh, ways you have. Again, you will start from A. Then you will go to B. From B, you will come to E. From E, anyhow, H is done. I also is done. I will come. From I to K is already out there, I to K. Now, from I to L, I'll come. And from L to M, I'll reach, right? 
ultimately your goal should be to start from A and end at M. So what are the different ways that you can go that we are supposed to find? Now again, same thing. I'll do it a bit quick now. So A is written, B is written, E is written, I is written, L is written, and M is written. A eight days, six days, E is three days. Okay, I, I'm expecting that you know what I'm trying to tell. I is how much? I is again seven days. L is how much? L is again six days. M is again three days. Add everything. Eight plus six is 14. 14 plus three is 17. 17 plus seven is how much? 17 plus seven is uh, 24. 24 plus six is 30. 30 plus three is 33. So I'm getting 33 days. Understood? Now again, is there any other path apart from E, I, I to K, K to M, I to L, L to M is done. So again, I think from here, there is no path left. Now we'll take a different route. This is route number B. What we were doing so far, I was going from A to B. No, this time from B, all the routes are done. Now I'll go with A. And from C, I have from A to C, there is a route. A to C, I'll go. Now again, from C, there is two options. Either you can connect G, I, sorry, G, uh, G, J, K, uh, J, L, M, you can connect, or you can go F, I, K, M. So again, compared to F and G, which is on higher higher level, F is at a higher level. So I'll connect with F. Now again, for F, there is two connectivity. I also is there, G also is there. Again, what I'll do, I'll take a higher one. So I'll take I. So again, for I, there is two connectivity. You can connect L and M, or you can connect K and M. Again, on the higher one, higher one is K, and then I'll come here. Got it? So you can take anything, but if you follow one pattern, no, it will be easy. There is no confusion. If you randomly pick, then what happens? You don't remember previously what you had done. So again, you will, there is a chance you may make a mistake. In order to avoid the confusion, we'll do like this. So again, A is written, A is written, C is written, C is written, F is written, F is written, I is written, I is written, K is written, K is written, M is written, M is written. A is eight, uh, C is a seven days, duration is seven. Then F is a four days and I is a seven days. K is how much where is K? K is two days and M is three days. Add everything. Eight plus seven is 15. 15 plus four is 19. 19 plus seven is 26. 26 plus two is 28. 28 plus three is 31. So 31 days is the duration. Got it? Chalo. Next, you tell me again. So again, what will happen? What are the other routes that you have now? So I'll go backspace. I'll take like this. Okay. What I did? Yeah. Up to F I had done. From F I what I did. From F what I did. I went to. What I did. Yeah. From F I went to I. Isn't it? Now from I to K. K to M is done. Now what I'll follow from I. It's connecting L no. And it's connecting M no. I'll take that. So what you'll do in the next activity. You just write the same thing. Copy the same thing. Only the thing is. A. C. F. I. So here you are taking K. Now you take L and M. Now again same thing. A is 8 days, C is 7 days, F is 4 days, I is 7, L is 6, M is 3. Add everything. 8, 8, 8 plus 7 is 15, 15 plus 4 is 19, 19 plus 7 is 26, 26 plus 6 is 32, 32 plus 3 is 35. So this will take 35 days to finish. Okay. Now again, how many activities, again, how many root, routes are there? Another two routes we are left out. Which all are those? See here. It's visible, no? Yeah. So what I'll do now, so I reached up to here, right? So yeah, we reached up to here. Up to F we reached. From F to I, K, L, M. Uh, then F to I, I to it. Next, what route we have? After F, I can go to J. Agree with me? After F, I can come to J. From J, I can come to L. And from L, I can come to M. This is another route that I can pick. Yeah. So the same thing, I've written it here. I hope I've written the same thing. Let me try. A is written exactly. C is written exactly. F is written exactly. J is written exactly. L is written exactly. M is written exactly. Count everything again. You know how to put the duration. This time, your L duration is six days. I have input six here. Then uh, that's it. J is two days. I put two days here. The rest, anyhow, A, C is already known. Eight, seven, and four. 8, 7 is 15, 15 plus 4 is 19, 19 plus 2 is 21, 21 plus 6 is 27, 27 plus 6 is 30. So this requires 30 days. Now coming to the last option. Is it it? Last, yeah, last one path is left out. What is that? Can you tell me what is the last path that you have? Exactly. We'll go with A. From A to C, I'll come. C to F is already connected. From F only, I came to J. From there, I went here. 
I'll take G now. I'll go to I. I, I, I sorry, I go, I'll go to the J. From J, I'll come to the L. From L, I'll come to the M. Understood? So this is the last path what I have. So again, you can see the answer here. I think, uh, yeah. Anyhow, not an issue. So A I've written, A is correct. C, C is correct. G, G is correct. J, J is correct. L, L is correct. M, M is correct. So again, 8 plus 7 is 15, 15 plus 7 is 22, 22 plus 2 is 24, 24 plus 6 is 30, 30 plus 3 is 33. 33 is the total duration. Understood the concept? Good. Now, what is the logic of doing this? Now, out of all the duration, like 30, 30, 29, 33, 31, 35, 30, 30, which is the highest one? The highest one is 35, isn't it? 35 is the highest compared to all other activities that we have or all other paths that we have. So this is my critical activity. This is my critical activity. And 35 is the total duration that is required to finish all the activities. That means if I want to finish this project, this project can be like, let us say, earthwork, PCC and all. Okay. If I want to start from earthwork and if I want to reach to the slab casting, I require 35 days. This is the maximum days that I require. Okay. So this is my critical activity. So it's a critical activity or a critical yeah, this is a critical activity what we have and the path which is follow. What is the path it's going to follow? Tell the path. So the path is this one. What is that? A, no? So A, after that C, then we have F, then we have I, then we have L, and then we have M, isn't it? So this is a critical path for me. So this is a critical path for me. Okay. Okay. And what is the duration it will take? 35 days it's going to take. Understood the concept? Good. So that is sufficient. Now, if you want, I'll take out all these things where I had kept all those things. Wait. Yeah. Not required. Then this was not required. Right. Hmm. Now you got an idea. Let us see. From earthwork, PCC, shuttering, this slab, this brickwork, and painting. This is my critical activities. So that means all these activities I need to start on time. Now I'll tell in the next lecture we'll do uh, we'll do the same thing on the uh, software and we'll, we'll try to verify. But the importance of doing this is we'll get an idea which is a critical activity in my entire project. So these activities I shouldn't delay. I should start them on time. Suppose if this earthwork is supposed to be started on fifth of November, on fifth of November only I should start. If I delay that, if I delay these activities, your project will get delayed. What is what I'm trying to tell? If you delay these activities, like earthwork, if you delay, if you don't do PCC on time, if you don't do shuttering on the time, then what will happen? Then your, your entire duration is going to get affected. Got it? So this is the importance of the critical path. So with this, what we understood, we understood how to find out the critical path. We understood how to calculate the duration of that and the method it's going to follow. It's called as a critical path method. Okay. So in the next lecture, what I'll do, I'll do the same networking in the MS project software and we'll try to do the, do the same interlinking there same links will put and we'll try to match the answer that we are getting 35 years the same answer I should get in the software only then I can say whatever manual calculation I've done it is correct and the same is being shown on the MS project software and there we'll try to see how to find out the critical activities in the software what is so try to practice up to here try to understand the concept and I'll see you in the next lecture thank you